And welcome back. Next stop is Protodome. My boy Jungle Knight 72 here, and I'm playing Portal Trigger Definitive Edition on PC. <sighs> and when I left off, uh, we discovered what Lavos did, yada yada yada. I've uh, done a playthrough of this on Super Nintendo, so you know, you already know. Let's keep going. Take out this little Proto guy over here. Maybe they call him a Type 2. One tech point. Yeah, let me see what I am. I think I've already learned all the techs that I need to learn you know, for the time being. I've gotta make a way back up. <laughs> Plus, in between breaks, I just realized I uh, have not paused the <laughs> taking a break and turn this off. I've had this rolling the entire time. And don't worry, studio wasn't recorded. Thank god it is. Because uh, earlier, I uh, recorded like five minutes of shit, and then I realized I hit stream. <laughs> I did, you know, nothing happened though, I didn't uh, hit a stream key whatsoever too, so... That, uh... That was kind of a pain in the ass too. Get in the way. <sighs> here we go. Getting out of here and back to these folks up here. Oh, you're back. So. How did it go? Everybody gathers around. And what did you discover? That this is our future. Hmm? Who cares? Where's the food? This is the only thing I found left. A seed. You don't know how long that'll, that inner journal will hold out. That seed may be your only hope. Anyways, just stay alive. Don't give up. We won't either. Hmm. You're a strange bunch. You're different from us, somehow. You mean because we haven't lost hope? Oop. There's a word I haven't heard in some time. It does have a comforting ring to it, though. I don't know what kind of seed this is, but I'll do my best to grow it. This may be the thing we needed. You're off to Protodome then, huh? You'll need to pass through Site 32. Take this with you. The jet bike key it is. It's a key to the jet bike parked at Site 32 ruins. I used to ride when I was young. Hopefully it works. You've got even more powerful robots in that dome and they've overrun the place. Take care and don't give up hope. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Rest the Intertron, get all recovered, and hungry at the same time. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta love the soundtrack. And by the way, Malcolm Robinson's covers of Chrono Trigger's uh, soundtrack. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's all I gotta say. They're all orchestrated. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got a mid potion. You know, that looks like a car, not a bike. What do we got here? Build it right there. Oh, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the intro, boys. Bro. Bro. You the last can call me Johnny. I'm the leader of this pack. Listen up, the Ruin Highway is ahead and the only road you got. You want to reach the other side, you're going to have to race me against me, that's it. I'll let you use that jet bike, because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it, and don't you dare chicken it out, babe. So, do you shiny axes know how to ride? You know what? 
Yeah. Alright, listen up. Let Johnny tell you how it's done. Gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. Steer, press up, and then down yeah, the direction. Press B for the turbo boost. I'll give you three of them. The B icon shows how many you've got left. Heads up, though. To use one, you can't use another until the gauge icon refills. Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Let's ride like the wind, babe. It's in the original. Gotta love this tune. See if he's any more difficult than he was in the uh, Super Nintendo or in the uh, Nintendo DS version. Looks like I win, daddy. Looks like I win, bro. Oh yeah, daddy. No, I can't even skip this cutscene. Oh. Wasn't by much, but I won. <sighs> Don't get it, you can get your We'll ride like the wind, baby. All right, next stop, Protodome. Move down here. Got three unavoidable battles I gotta take care of. Taking bad boys out. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm really enjoying you know, the way this records too. I mean, I used to. I'm not gonna lie though, when I first started you know, recording this, I could not stand OBS Studio. And I just I just didn't get it, whatever I did. But you know, I, I watched a lot of tutorials and I read a lot about it though, and then I see, you know, why people, you know, why gamers like this are gonna do this, record with OBS Studio. I just need to uh, have a better internet connection to actually stream on here, though, because I would love to stream the uh, final episode of this as well. But, you know, just some of the uh, more, you know, serious uh, episodes, too. Because, you know, when I, when I, did, my, when I did my original uh, uh, playthrough pro on Furniture on the Super Nintendo, I originally wanted to stream the last uh, last level. Or, better yet, this the final boss with Lagos. And a few other things, too. Matter of fact, I also wanted to live stream uh, the uh, ultimate challenge with Specchio, if you remember that. Yeah, so hell, still hungry as before. Oh, that's right, it's only two. <sighs> What's this thing? It's in bad shape, but it looks like a humanoid robot. Incredible. Hmm. I think I can fix it. That attacks us like the other ones. I'll make sure it won't. Robots don't attack their own free of their own free will, you know. They're based on how they're programmed. Humans in a lot of ways are just the, humans are just the bad guys. The people who program are the bad guys, whether they be human or not. Hmm. The door won't budge. Alrighty, and I love Robo's theme though because it literally you could, it literally syncs up with uh, Rick Ass is never gonna give you up. Time to give it some juice. Yeah, I'll turn it up real quick. Does it not sound like Rick Ass is never gonna give you up? <laughs> Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I'm Nadia. <laughs> this is Kroto. And that's Luca, the one who fixed Give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. 
Never gonna make you cry Never gonna say goodbye Never gonna tell a lie It hurts you That man ever could have potentially caused offense I'm incapable of offense of speech Man <laughs> She hates formalities I am incapable of offense of speech That'll be the human race if we keep being so sensitive So what's your name? Name. Perhaps you are referring to my serial number. My serial number is R-66Y. Cool. What are you talking about? That will do it all. Hmm. Let's give him a better name. Let's see. Robo. Well, I don't want anybody thinking that we're robosexuals. And if anybody asks, you're my debugger. You know what? Because I love uh, Soccer Frontier T260. G. Yeah. T260G. Your new name is T260G, okay? My name is T260G. Data storage complete. Something I was hoping you could... Hmm. What happened here? This dome could say many humans and others like me. Kind of hard to say, but I think something awful happened. I think anyone else is though. I see. What about yourselves? Came through the gate. Uh, warp from the year 1000. We learned there was a gate here when we went to Aristone. Then we found you when we came looking for the gates. But the door in the inner chamber is sealed shut, so it looks like we're out of luck. Well, we gotta go to the factory up north. The dome's power has been shut off completely. The factory of the north contains an emergency power generator for this dome. I can by bypass security to activate it. Shall we go there? You repaired me. Now it's my turn to be of assistance. However, the generation will produce power for only a short time. Someone must remain here to open the door as soon as the power is restored to the dome. Who will stay behind? You know what, Nadia, you'll have to stay behind. Let's see. Pure beams, see what kind of equipment he's got. Alrighty. Alright, to so the North Factory we go. You know, to save up real quick. Beyond the ruins, the derelict factory. The Derelict Factory, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, man, I love the scene from the factories. Override Security System, double O. Oh yeah, then you got these guys here. Little battery, these alkaline battery acids, or whatever the fuck they're called. They're not very strong, though, but... Can't do a lot of damage to him. It's a hit ratio thing. Then we got these buggers right here. Let's see what we got. Deverminator. Deverminators, that's what they're called. I don't remember if that's what they were renamed in the uh, DS version, but I'm pretty positive that's probably what they are. In the DS version. And I gotta say though, Chrono's critical hit rate on the PC version is actually a little higher than normal. It's pretty bizarre to me. Laboratory right factory. Risk of death. Deactivation security variable forbidden. Stop in the belt. You have to get security, which could result in loss of life. No shit. By the way, uh, Time uh, Time Orchestra does a really, really good cover of this. It's more of like an arranged mix, but it's still really good. Hang on. Can't do much over here. Don't remember too much of that. You 
you know what? I ain't got time for this. I think I'm just gonna go right to what, what's important. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh, shit. There we go. Down we go. To the, to the left shaft. Man. You know what? Save here. Can never save enough times. You know what's really funny though? On the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom version, you've got up to 999 saves that you can use. Even if you save over one of them, like at the 999th stage, it'll it won't override. Alrighty, take these bad boys out real quick. The old rocket punch. Acid and alkaline. Laser spin and supersonic dual tech. Hatch opened. Okay, what do we got down here? Security lasers are on. Hammer arm. These. Ooh, a titanium vest. Man, that would come in handy in real life. Right, it's not ready yet. <laughs> All is down. All defense layers are deactivated. Which means these are on the loose. Yeah, let's give Rocket Roll a try real quick. The Supersonic Sin. I'm so used to calling it Rocket Roll because that's the original name on the Super Nintendo. Oh, they added a little some more uh, sound effects in this one too. Uh, this will take a while. Hang on. Toss them to the wind. I forgot about this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. That was dumb. Down we go. Oh just go down. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explore everything around here. Can be a little time consuming too. Plasma gun. second. Okay. That was backwards. That was a little weird. Especially on this controller. But again, though, if you have a Super Nintendo controller, though, that's easy to figure out. But yeah, that was a little bit weird though because you know the layouts on on this uh, controller could be, is very much uh, made to be Xbox style too. So anyway, system was gone haywire. Let's get the hell out of here. Go go go! Get out before it's too late. Get out before it's too late. Get out before it's too late. And comes out of there wood style. Oh, I fucking love that. This is parts come open like that. Alrighty, let's make our way out to the emergency exit. Well, the front exit, if you will. Hang on. Nope. Hang on, let me uh, kill everybody out real quick. Yeah, well, he's not gonna be needed though, because he's about to get his ass whipped. 
And there's the rest of the R series. Wait, these these are my friends. R64Y, R67Y, R69Y. It's good to see you again. Just Bitch! What are you doing? You are defective. You are not one of us. We are not friend bot. Pardon? I am malfunctioning? Affirmative. You need to be reprogrammed. A defect? I am a defect. Have you forgot your our assigned task? All intruders must be eliminated. That was the reason for creation? That was the reason for my creation? You disgrace our series. You must be destroyed. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can do anything. Do not harm them, please. These robots are my brothers. And if, even if they were blood, or in this case, you know, very much, you know, related by oil. The media family will sit there and stab me in the back quicker than anything else. Please stop, please. I mean, there's nothing I can do here, so I actually gotta watch him get his ass handed to him. <sighs> they think they're funny, don't they? And now we, sh we shall eliminate the intruders. No. I think the intruders will eliminate you. The intruders shall eliminate you. This will be easy. Against the R series. Hang on. All I gotta do is use Cyclone a few times. I can actually do a group attack with flame forward. There we go. Yeah, each one of these fuckers got 200 HP each. So, one, two, three. Boom. Man, can you imagine getting punched by one of those fucking things, man? That would hurt. That would be very painful. Steel on bone. Oh, tossed around. Blood, Chrono. Got to stay alive to uh, take down the uh, androids, the uh, the robots. So rocket punch he's doing. Okay, you know what? We'll fire roll them together. I think we can finish them off like this. Oh, it's about the same damage. Just about the same damage there. These guys don't hit very hard. They'll, they'll just keep tossing us around though, like that. They'll keep tossing me around. Boom, boom. Boom. Alrighty. 480 HP. 600 G. That's six bucks. <laughs> In terms of yen. I see him. He's got stuck. Really thrashing. I'm not sure if I can fix this. Let's get it back to Protodome for now. And a long, draggy trek. <sighs> Must be tough, you know, dragging that much metal. Yeah, Marley's asleep. Okay, can you fix me? Shh, don't try to talk. You're trying to change the world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. What do you want to do after I finish repairing you? What do I want to do? When you're stuck here all this time, there must be a lot of things you want to do, right? No one has ever asked for that before, Luca. Well... 
Uh, it's about time somebody asked it the, the right question, too. Good morning. Good morning. Thank goodness you're all right. Naughty, elusive, Luca, you're incredible. You, you will. Just know that. I arrived at an answer for you to your question. I want to go with you. Really? You mean it? There is nothing left for me here. I want to help you. Together we may be able to give this, give the life on this planet a chance. Hopefully it can be the same thing, you know, with the uh, certain situation going on here in the world. Especially here in America. There we go. Here we go, we found a gate. All right, through the gates we go. And it looks like we are in. Very. Hold on. You hear somebody sleeping? Looks like we got an old man sleeping here. Hmm. Let's wake him up. Excuse me, sir, uh... <laughs> that bubble. <laughs> uh, uh, more drifters. Drifters? Where are we? Uh, it's not a question of where, my friends. It's much when, uh, this is the end of time. Travelers lost in time slow turn up here. Much like driftwood on a beach. I might I ask where you're from? We're from the year 1000. I come from the year 2300 AD. Well, when four more entities of varying origins enter a temple rift together, the torsion exerted on the time slow pushes them to point of least resistance. Here. There have been a number of folks turning up here un unintended recently like yourselves. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. <laughs> here alone. Yeah, it's a pretty bleak place, isn't it? Looks very old-fashioned, if you ask me. I've seen some really cool uh, renders where it looks like a 19, like a 1930s. Uh, you know, it looks like you know, it was like a, it looks like the the road in the 1930s in the mi middle of a downtown city of New York. Well, not to worry. Fort's desolation is connected. There are roads here that you can visit anytime you wish to visit. Should so, should you so desire, I can call upon your friends at any time. You could never travel in groups more than three. One of us must remain. Who will it be? Well, you know what? I think it'd be... Let's let T260, uh... I'll be happy to assist you again whenever you need... When you have the need. Well, that is the way of things. Should you desire to switch party members, you can do so via the main menu, whatever you wish. How do we get back to our own time? Well, you saw the pillars of light there when you arrived, yes? Each connects to a place to a different era. Once you've been through the gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light using the A button once more, and you'll return to the gate. But beware, the gate, the gate is connected to that bucket. Well, we should probably save then, shouldn't we? We are at the end of time. Well, let's see what we can figure out. Oh, hey! You needn't be such a rush. Before you go, have a look at the, at the past door behind me. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> what are you looking at? Me, I'm Specchio, the Master of War. I watch all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you? This is actually kind of a trick question. So, how strong do I look? I'm going to say I look strong. I see. How will it depends on how strong you are. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. It's like in pro wrestling, man. If you make your opponent look good, then you look good. Hmm? Oh, you got it in you, don't you? Must be the way the old guy must be why the guy, guy let you through. See, a long, long time ago before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic was flour magic flourished. Everyone there could use it, but the people abused their powers and that ended up destroying the place. After that, there wasn't 
anyone left over to use magic except the fiends, of course. But you have it. That inner strength, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. That's where, the, where it flows. There's four types of magic. Fire, water, light, and shadow. Not everyone's got the same type. Hey, you with the punk hair, dude. You're light. The gal with the ponytail has the power of water. And the girl with the goofy glasses, her power is fire. You hear that? You're, you're with the goofy glasses, you've got fire. You, you got goofy glasses, so you got fire. Alright. Why not? <laughs> you're the one with the glasses. Start from the circle. Start from the door, circle around the wall three times. Don't, don't lose track now. Yes, I gotta do it clockwise. Ooh, hang on. Start from the door. One. Two. I love Specchio's music. Well done! And by the way, specchio in Italian means mirror. It's a facto minimo! Magico! Try to learn to use magic. Light magic. We know the original version, it says it's actually lightning. Not he uses magic. Luca. Luca learned to use magic. <laughs> So, all 45 of magic. Want to try it out? Alright. Like how a bubble was it? Oh, it just killed by a bubble. I got killed by a bubble, really? You were just knocked out, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You, uh, just. I got, I got the floor wiped with me by a mirror. Hee <laughs> I win! You make any new friends? Bring them and see me. I like you guys. Well, this is going to be a fun challenge. Hey! Well, well. Seems I was right. People who lived before you enjoyed such, who all enjoyed such powers, you know. Yes, long, long ago. Well, I know you must be eager to finish this thing you seem to be intent on doing, but why not pay a, pay a visit back to your own era? Haste makes ways, as they say. You'll find that even truer here. Come see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on Time's Road. You know what? I will. Actually, hold on. Let me uh, fortify uh, T260 with magic. Or do I? <laughs> what's the big, what's with the big clunky thing? Sorry, buddy, but well, you aren't alive. You got great inner strength for what it's worth. It's just you aren't descended from the ancient magic users, so you're never gonna use magic to be able to cast spells. Your laser weapons and whatnot should suffice though. They can inflict shadow damage, kinda like shadow magic. Hey, you know what? He is the master of war. He is the master of war, and you know what? I think it's be a good uh good time to stop from here. And in the next episode, we will be taking off back to our own time in the year 1000. I'll see y'all again. Much love. And see you in the next episode.